My father, who was a church minister, he would use a guest techno duplicator to publicize his rallies and meetings and try and bring people to Jesus. Oh, this blessed thing, he would say. <laughs> this being the first time I ever saw print happening. That was, it was the smell of that ink. Things took a long time. And sometimes it was not just budget. It was like you wanted to do something now. You could have 30 or 50, 100 within half an hour. Somebody comes up with a bright idea. And when you look at the, the background to it, you find out actually that's how things used to be, but just framed in a different, a different story. By 1977, this was me hand setting type out by the poster machine this was you've got a very tight set of constraints to be able to design something you know putting text on a curve is like whoa i'm one of those sort of sub creative people that knows when they look at something if it's right or not a lot of the terms we use today go back to letterpress composing so leading between lines was a physical piece of lead when two characters are one like fi ffi we called it a ligature. This is a Wharfdale. Uh, the one I operated was called an Elliot, but it was all out of the same factory in Otley. It was a, a double demi press. That was the biggest sheet it would take. And I would hand feed this press and hand ink it. Um, when on my training, I was told never walk around the back of this machine. The last person that did that when it was running lost their leg. It was taken at our advanced print technology center in Brussels, where I haven't been 14 months. Um, and I've been here in this room with the exception of one trip. I have this picture on my desktop and on another screen, I have a picture of that old press. I can see the journey I took. And this press is, has been my life now for around four years. We're reaching the speed that a, an offset B2 press, it's bringing together a whole team of people to achieve what we've done. But at the moment, we're being quiet about it.